Hey guys, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn off real time protection in Windows 11. These tabs will help you to disable Windows protection in your Windows 11 and if you have uh, a folder you want to download and it is being blocked by the Windows 11 real time protection with the help of this video you would be able to turn it on. So in this video I'm going to walk you through how this can be done easily. Meanwhile, if you are not having an antivirus on your Windows 11, do not disable the Windows this vendor. So this is one of the ways to protect your Windows from virus. With the Windows 11 real-time protection, you can actually delete virus from the internet that is uh, trying to access your computer. And if you are not using the Windows 11 real-time protection, ensure that you have at least an antivirus on your computer so as to be able to uh, take care of all unwanted folders, files, and applications. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure on how to take down or on how to turn off Windows 11 real-time protection. So, to start with, I'm just going to close this page. So, once you're on your Windows 11 home page, as you can see, this is my Windows 11 home page, and to turn off the real-time protection, you want to click on the Windows button, after which then to select Settings. Once you click on Settings, you will be taken to the Windows 11 Settings page. And on the Windows 11 Settings page, you want to click on Privacy and Security. Once you have Privacy and Security, you will be taken to the Windows Security section, as well as Windows Permission. Now, to disable the real-time protection on your Windows 11, what you want to do is Click on Windows Security. This way you have access to the Windows Antivirus browser for your wall and network protection for your device. And what we are interested in is to disable the real-time protection on this particular Windows 11 device. So to proceed and uh, turn off real-time protection on your Windows 11, click on Windows Security. Once you select the Windows Security, you will to the protection area. And while in the protection area, you are interested in the virus and threat protection. And this is exactly where your real-time protection comes in. Then you want to select it. Once you click on that, you will take into the current threat. Then you need to scroll down to virus and threat protection settings. So this is what exactly you want to turn off. So you need to click on manage settings. Once you click on manage settings, you see that your real-time protection is turned on. Cloud delivered protection is also turned on. Automatic sample submission is turned on. Tamper protection is as well turned on. So all these, we need to disable all of them. So what you just need to do is click on the toggle icon. Accept the pop-up. And this time you see that real-time protection is off. Leaving your device is vulnerable. So that's why I said, if you want to turn off Windows 11 real-time protection, you want to make sure that you have another antivirus to take care of all the one that uh, applications or programs on your Windows 11. So the next thing is one turn of cloud protection. You can just discuss, uh, click on the mid dismiss button, turn off this automatic sample submission, also dismiss this, and tamper protection. After that, your Windows 11 return protection will be automatically turn off, will be turned off. So if you ever want to turn on the return protection, this is just exactly the same thing you have to do. You just have to come to the settings, Click on security and uh, privacy and click on windows settings and then turn on all the gray icon to blue. So once all these are turned to blue, then you've turned on your Windows 11 real-time protection. So this is the step-by-step -step procedure on how to turn off Windows 11 real-time protection or how to turn off real-time protection on Windows 11. Please if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get all relevant information about Windows 11 and how to handle your Windows 11 like a professional. Thank you.